you may be surprised what real marriage is like. For many people, the beauty of Christian marriage is as clear as swamp water. Conflicting messages come from all directions, and it is hard to discern the truth. Hollywood preaches that marriage wrecks romance, and fairy tales proclaim happily ever after. Too often marriages around us are defined by heartache and dysfunction, and we are left to wonder what a healthy one looks like. A Christian marriage is not a perfect dream come true, nor is it a boring daily grind. It's a lot more exciting and complex. You might find real married life to be different from what you thought. So here are 10 things that I believe every woman needs to know before she ties the knot. 1. Your husband does not define you. Christ does. When we first fall in love, it's like the best thing ever. The person you love most also loves you. You feel important. You feel special. But when that first rush of love calms down, our self-confidence often does too. This happens because we let a man's attention decide how much we're worth. In times like these, we need a strong belief in something bigger than ourselves. How else will we understand that our worth comes from something more than just our relationships? When we look to Jesus for spiritual guidance, he changes us. With him, we become worthy, loved, and forgiven, as told in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. These spiritual changes reach deep into who we are. They change us in a way that a man's love never could. In a marriage, it's really important not to get this wrong. Know who you are in Christ, and let his love be what defines you. 2. You are not enough to fulfill your spouse. It may seem like you and your partner are all each other needs, but the truth is, no one person can be everything for someone else. If you try to be everything your partner needs, you won't succeed. It's like a kid trying to end world hunger with the money in their piggy bank. They just don't have enough. In Jesus, a person finds everything they need. Trust your husband to him, and he will be well taken care of. In a strange way, this actually helps you love your husband even better. 3. A good wife doesn't fit a cookie-cutter pattern. Back in the early days of the Bible, in Genesis, it says a woman is supposed to help her husband. But how you help your husband will be different from how other women help their husbands. There's no one perfect way to be a wife, because every husband is different. A smart wife pays attention to her husband. She knows what he likes and what makes him happy. She's aware of his weak spots and helps him improve. She knows how to cheer him on, when to talk to him about serious stuff, and how to show him he's loved and respected. While advice from other women can be helpful, remember to keep your husband at the heart of your role as a wife. After all, he's the one you've chosen to help. For people who've been married a long time know how to argue in a good way. Being married can teach you a lot. It's like God's special way of helping us become better people. When two imperfect people live together, it's not surprising if they sometimes annoy each other. But these tough moments in marriage can actually help us learn about our own faults and smooth out our rough spots. When you're arguing, a smart wife takes her time before she speaks. Once you've said something, you can't take it back, and harsh words can start a big fight. Marriage gives you lots of chances to say sorry and to forgive. Don't feel shocked or beat down when you mess up. God's love is bigger than any mistake. 5. It's more blessed to give than to receive. People often say marriage is about both giving and taking, but it's never exactly half and half. And even if it was, we don't always see it clearly. Keeping score in marriage doesn't work, it only leads to bad feelings. Instead, try to give more, just like Jesus did. He didn't come to be served by others, but to help others and to give his own life for many people, Mark 10 verse 45. 
In simpler terms, in marriage, it's better to focus on what you can give rather than what you can get. If you're always keeping track of who does what, it can lead to anger and sadness. Instead, try to be as giving as possible, just like Jesus was. Remember, he wasn't here to be helped by others, but to help them and even gave his own life for them. This is a powerful example for us in our marriages. 6. A husband who points you to Christ is worth his weight in gold. True love isn't found in the fun moments before you're married, but in long-lasting acts of committed love, forgiving each other, and staying faithful. If you find someone who loves you like Jesus loves his followers, selflessly, gently, and unconditionally, you've found something really special. In a part of the Bible called Ephesians 5, a man named Paul talks about a husband's duty to care for and lead his wife. He uses the words nourish and cherish to describe this. A guy might make your heart beat super fast, but can you follow his guidance? Will he care for you and provide for you? Does he show the kind of love for you that Jesus shows for his followers? A guy might be strong and exciting, but that's not enough. A man who follows God's way is truly precious. 7. Married sex is not an ultimate experience, nor a monotonous chore. Some people think that getting married messes up your sex life. They believe that after the excitement of the honeymoon, everything gets boring or leads to divorce. Others expect it to be perfect and satisfying right away. But the real story isn't that simple. Within the safe space of marriage that God has given us, there's a lot of freedom to enjoy sex and less pressure to impress. Sex doesn't start out amazing and then get worse. It starts in the middle and can go up and down. It keeps changing, growing, and improving. No matter what stage of life you're in, sex when you're married is always special because in some ways it shows the close relationship between Christ and his followers. 8. Your own personal holiness is the greatest gift you can give your spouse. Looking good might catch someone's eye at first, but just looking good isn't enough. You are a whole person, created in the image of God. Your soul is meant to connect with Him. When you marry a man, you become one with him in both body and soul. So, your spiritual health will have a big impact on him. In other words, being a good and moral person, someone who is spiritually healthy and connected with God, is the best thing you can offer to your husband. It's more important than looks, because it's about who you are as a person, not just what you look like. This spiritual health and goodness will greatly affect your husband and your relationship with him. 9. He wants your friendship. Your husband needs more than just someone to clean the house. He wants a friend, a partner, someone he can count on when things get tough. Someone who understands his deepest dreams and wants to share life with him. You're his helper and his lover, but also his buddy. Don't forget how important being friends is if you want your marriage to do well. In simpler terms, your husband needs more than just someone who takes care of the house. He wants a friend, someone who's on his side, and someone he can trust when things are hard. Someone who gets what he truly wants and is ready to go through life together. You are his helper and his partner in love, but also his best friend. Never undervalue the importance of friendship in making your marriage happy and successful. 10. Marriage is more than a piece of paper. Your marriage should show something bigger than just you two. Marriage is a symbol of a spiritual truth, specifically, Jesus' love for his followers, the church. Your relationship with your husband should make you amazed at your relationship with Jesus. And even though we were made for our spouse from the start, we were ultimately made for a love that is beyond this world. So, the next time you're wondering what a good marriage looks like, forget about fairy tales and movies. Look to Jesus and remember his love for the church. A real marriage isn't simple. It's a real-life example of a spiritual truth. It's a story of forgiving each other and staying in love. It's a real-life example of Jesus' love for the church. 
Even though we don't show this perfectly, it's still a beautiful thing. To make it even simpler, your married life should reflect something much bigger than just the two of you. It should be a sign of the love that Jesus has for all his followers. Your love for your husband should remind you of the love you share with Jesus. And even though we are made for our partners, the ultimate love we were made for is even bigger than this. So, if you're ever wondering what a good marriage is supposed to look like, don't think about fairy tales or movies. Think about Jesus and the love he has for his followers. A real marriage isn't easy. It's like a painting of a deep spiritual truth. It's about saying sorry and sticking with love. It's like a painting of the love Jesus has for his followers. We might not show this perfectly, but it's still a beautiful thing.